all television and radio stations in the United States will now cease their regular programming. As Christ says in Matthew chapter 24 verse 32, now learn a parable of the fig tree going full circle back to the first seal in verses 4 and 5 with 1948 being when the fourth trumpet began to sound lining up with the hidden dynasty of religion which is when all four hidden dynasties were globalized with the first four trumpets all sounding at the same time beginning this final generation, the generation of the fig tree when those who are as it stands evil figs were returned to the geographical location Jerusalem is in in 1948, having been there previously, as we know from Matthew chapter 23, where Christ calls the scribes and the Pharisees the generation of vipers on who the righteous blood of Abel would fall and who killed Abel. It was Cain, so they're the sons of Cain who was of that wicked one, that is to say Satan, who impregnated Eve in the Garden of Eden, as we know from Genesis chapter 3, the natural branches of Satan's family tree being the evil figs, that is to say the Kenites, which means the sons of Cain, but as you can see in Jeremiah 24, no one is actually officially an evil fig or a good fig, so to speak, until harvest time, which is the end of the world, as we know from Matthew chapter 13 in the parable of the tares of the field, the end of the world being when the seventh angel sounds and the true Christ returns. And notice in Matthew 24, in the verses leading up to where he tells us to learn the parable of the fig tree, we see there the gathering of the elect at the seventh trumpet to Jerusalem to serve as the millennial priesthood, not just the Zadok and the 144,000, but also those who of their own free will repented and came out of the confusion, which is what Babylon means before the seventh angel sounded. And in my opinion, the 144,000, as well as those who of their own free will repent during the sixth trumpet are the sin electos from the church that is at Babylon, written of in 1 Peter chapter 5. Together with the 7,000 Zadok, they make up the good figs of Jeremiah chapter 24 that don't return to Jerusalem until the seventh trumpet and the Kenites as well as everyone else who is part of Satan's family tree at that time will be counted as evil figs and cast into the outer darkness. So again, now learn a parable of the fig tree when his branch is yet tender and putteth forth leaves, not fruit, but leaves, ye know that summer is nigh, which is harvest time, which again is the end of the world as we know from the parable of the tares of the field in Matthew 13. Let both grow together until the harvest because a tear, that is to say an evil fig, can become wheat, so to speak, by believing upon Christ Jesus, who is the true Messiah. And on the other hand, a good fig, symbolized by the wheat, Matthew 13, can become an evil fig and a tear by adoption. And many will at 666 when they worship Satan instead of Christ, which is what Antichrist means. Fig leaves symbolize that which is hidden as in the four hidden dynasties. And again, Adam and Eve covered themselves with fig leaves after Satan impregnated Eve with Cain, and the sons of Cain set up the four hidden dynasties beginning in 1830, which is when a removal of a people from the land they inhabited transpired with the so-called Indian Removal Act and the Trail of Tears, and then in 1948, Kenite Occupied Israel came into being and a similar removal occurred of the people that were already there, that is to say the Palestinians, 1830 being when the first trumpet began to sound, which is also when the first vial was poured out upon the earth, so to speak, the plagues in Revelation 16 being plagues of deception with the delivery system system being primarily in our time electronic. That's how the so-called news is transmitted and the technology really started coming together in the 1830s and beyond as well as the mainstream media and the Board of Education where the initial brainwashing transpires but it's the media that's used to perpetuate the deception in the minds of the biblically illiterate all the way up to when Satan appears as Antichrist in Jerusalem at 666 and the first trumpet and vial lines up with the fourth seal also so 411 which means information, but it's misinformation that leads to the spiritual death of most Christians at 666. Kizi stigma being 666 as a numeral, and it's right under Chloros in the Greek dictionary of the Strong's Concordance. The pale horse, which is Chloros in the Greek, and the fourth seal, and the pestilence is plural in Matthew chapter 24 verse 7. Again, the pestilences of the mind, as in plagues of deception that lead to the spiritual death at the sixth vial, when those three unclean spirits, like frogs, 
dogs are broadcast all over the globe, killing that third spiritually. Christians being the only ones that can die spiritually, and it happens when they worship Satan instead of Christ at 666 for the most part. But before that can happen, the great horn of the he-goat, which is the United Nations, in my opinion, must first be broken, so to speak, and only then does Revelation chapter 13 begin when the one world political system having seven heads and ten horns emerges at the woe of the fifth trumpet. The seven heads are seven mountains as in the seven continents of the planet earth and the ten horns are ten fallen angel kings that reign one hour with Satan. The hour of temptation that begins with a one world political system which then receives a deadly wound which is the fifth vial of Revelation chapter 16 and then and only then Satan appears as Antichrist in Jerusalem at the sixth seal, the sixth trumpet and the sixth vial. So right now we're still in the wars and rumors of war stage and as you can see in Matthew chapter 24 verse 6 that means the end is not yet. We're at this time waiting for the United Nations to be broken which is evidently a gradual process happening now while the economic dynasty through the Federal Reserve uses the Corona crisis to basically reset Bretton Woods. If the global economy crashes and the Federal Reserve is the only one that can print unlimited dollars out of thin air which is the global reserve currency then that's how they'll perpetuate America's own dominant position as the big new Brzezinski called for on the last page of the Grand Chessboard. Brzezinski founded the Trilateral Commission along with David Rockefeller and not one but two future chairmen of the Federal Reserve, Volcker and Greenspan. The famines in Matthew 24-7 lining up with the third seal, the hidden dynasty of economics beginning in 1913, but it has more to do with the famine for hearing the word of the Lord you can read of in Amos chapter 8. By eating up all the hours of the day trying to make ends meet because of the hidden dynasty of economics, most can't seem to find the time to get into the truth of God's word that would tell them how to get out from under the bondage of usury of the economic dynasty that was globalized in 1913 with the Federal Reserve Act. And if they do manage to find the time to listen to a sermon on the internet or the television or even at an actual so-called church house, the chances of it consisting of God's truth verse by verse are highly unlikely. So there you have the hidden dynasty of religion and how it corresponds to the other three horns in Zechariah chapter 1 and planting the seed of the mark of the beast they'll receive in their forehead where their minds are at the sixth seal, the sixth trumpet, and the sixth vial. That's what's going on now with the negative, but also the seed of the seal of God has to be planted in the foreheads of the servants of our God, as you can see in Revelation chapter 7. Once that's accomplished and the breaking of the great horn of the he-goat is completed is when the five-month-long hour of temptation begins. So you see then the narrow path in front of you as far as what you should keep an eye on and what you should ignore and chalk up to the pestilences of the mind via the hidden dynasty of education, especially on the internet nowadays, and notice misinformation will go viral, as they say, while the truth is far and few between, which comes as no surprise to anyone who's read Amos chapter 8, where God says in verse 11, Behold, the days come that I will send a famine in the land, not a famine of bread nor a thirst for water, but of hearing the words of the Lord. A famine for the truth, chapter by chapter and verse by verse, in the foreheads of the peoples of the world, just as the pestilences in Matthew 24 7 are in the foreheads also. Misinformation beginning in 1830, which is again 411, the fourth seal, the first trumpet, and the first vial. The hidden dynasty of education with 1913 and 1945 being when economics and politics were globalized, and then the hidden dynasty of religion in 1948. So again, now learn a parable of the fig tree when his branch is yet tender and putteth forth leaves, symbolizing that which is hidden, ye know that summer is near, which is harvest time, which as we know from Matthew 13 in the parable of the tares of the field is the end of the world.